What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 24. I'm going to be continuing with the remix theme, so if you haven't seen the first two videos, click the links in the top left-hand corner, take you back to those videos. They show you how to actually find the tempo of a track that you want to remix. Come back to this video, and I'm going to show you right now how to take a little bits out of the song and put it into your remix track at a new tempo that you have set it at. So that's pretty much what remixing is. So you take little bits and pieces, put it into your song, put some new stuff over it. So with that said, I'm going to go straight into the tutorial. First step you got to do is listen to the song, listen to it a couple times, understand what's going on, what you want to take out. And then from there you decide, hey, I like this part. It really drives the songs. So I'm going to keep it. So I listened to the song a couple times and I decided to keep this first section right here because that really drives the song. So I want to keep that in my remix track as well, but at a new tempo because, hey, we're remixing the song, we're changing the tempo. So what we got to do is first cut out the, the section of the original track that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring in my scissors tool and cut out all this empty stuff that we don't really need. We don't really need when we're changing the tempo of the region. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. Obviously, you're going to cut a little bit better and play back to hear what you've actually been cutting out. But for tutorial's sake, I'm just going to do a fast version to show you how to change a tempo of a section of the original track to put into your remix track. All right, so I'm just going to find my zero crossing. So there's right there. Cut it out. That's pretty much what I want to use is that lead arp sound right there. I'm going to go ahead and play for those of you who who uh, don't remember what it sounded like. Hit play and we'll go from there. You'll hear that there's a crash right at the beginning. So this is not really the best spot to take a section out and put into your remake song. But again, for tutorial's sake, I'm using this first section. So we go ahead and hit play. All right, so that is the section right there. Hold down the Option key, click drag into your remix track. Again, I changed the original BPM of this song was 104 BPM, if you remember, and I changed the track to 121 BPMs down here. So now I got to make sure that I change the BPMs of this as well. So when I add uh, percussions, drums, everything's going to be in time. So I'm going to double click that. Once this window pops up, go down to Factory, go to Time and Pitch Machine, and from here you'll see. A bunch of settings that you don't really need to change all you really need to change is the algorithm and you have a bunch to choose from so for this one you can do universal and it'll kind of apply to all settings but for the arp i like to use complex because an arpeggiated sound is sort of a little complex so i hope logic got a little bit there the original tempo of the song that we found out in the first video that we did on tuesday we found out that this song is 104 ppm so I'll do the original 104 BPMs of that loop, which it is at right now. And the destination, I'm going to keep it at 121 BPMs because that's the new tempo of my new song that I'm creating. And go process and paste. Logic will be doing all the math for you. So now it's taking that 104 BPMs and stretching it out or making it faster to 121 BPMs. Once this is done, so that's done, I'm going to mute my original track. I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and you'll see now it is at 105, sorry, 121 BPMs. And from there, you can loop it, do whatever you want. But like I said, this has a crash at the beginning. So it's not really the the, um, the best spot to take this sound from. But for tutorial's sake, I took it. So I'm going to go ahead and play, and you can hear how it sounds when it loops. So that's how you take a little piece from an original song. Change the tempo of it and put it into your remix track. If you have any questions on that, you can ask me in the comment section. And for more great videos, remember to rate and subscribe. I'll be talking to you guys soon. All right, guys? Later.